Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode here on Dangerous African Confessions HD. In this episode, we have the continuation of the message that we received from our sister who wanted to share with us about how her sister became blind and paralyzed after her wedding to her pastor husband. According to her, she wanted to share his very difficult situation they find themselves in with the rest of the world so that we can take a very important lesson as she calls it from the life of her sister. In this captivating story, our sister Charity shares with us how we should see life and never to make mistakes when we are of age to enter into marriage. She tells us some astonishing things that got me into disbelief. Now, she is telling us to be more careful of our pastors, parents, and our partners. Because, even her sister, the kind of things she has been through all in the name of marriage to a pastor will shock you. I explained everything to him and he laughed. He told us that, the man that we think he is, he is not that. I didn't understand so, I wanted more explanation. He told us that, even a senior pastor doesn't know the kind of person he truly is. Because, to them, he is a pastor trained by them. But then, my sister's husband belongs to an occult group that demands the blood of unborn babies for their sacrifice. So, the first two miscarriage that my sister had, was actually her husband's doings. And he is aware of whatever will happen to my sister. And that is the reason why he does not want to involve himself with anything with regards to her sickness. Because if he pays for her bills, in the realms of the spirits, he is actually buying the punishment or the sacrifice upon my sister's life. And if it happens so, it will turn to him. He went on to say that the cause of my sister's sickness is because she was to lose the third child also, and for some strange reasons, the time frame in which the sacrifice was to happen changed and it couldn't affect the child. And then as a result the result of the sacrifice that was done in the realm of the spirits is what my sister is facing. As part of our policy, I've edited the names, locations to hide the identity. Please kindly subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. Without wasting much of your time, let's go and listen to the story. She started complaining of severe headache. So, in about three months into her pregnancy, she said that she felt a sharp pain on his eyes lid. This she thought was as a result of the severe pains in his head. But then something strange started happening to her. When the pregnancy had reached about the seventh month, she couldn't see properly with her left eye, the one that was paining her. So, it was then that doctors told her that they had to operate on her eyes and head. Other than that, it will affect the other eyes. So, in a matter of just a year after her wedding, she was going to go to the operation room. When she was first taken to the hospital, her husband paid all his bills as expected of him. But then his attitude changed when he realized she was losing her sight. The doctors advised that, because of her pregnancy and the nature of the operation that she was going to face, it was better for her to go through the nine months of pregnancy first. So, they gave her some medicines to prevent it from affecting the right side of the eyes entirely. As soon as she gave birth, she had the operation. And throughout the time when she was admitted to the day the operation was done, her husband who is a pastor never stepped foot at the hospital to even console her for the pain she is going through. She spent about three days after the operation was done at the hospital. That too the husband never stepped foot there. It was this time that my husband got angry about his behavior and decided to go to his house to find out why he was still not coming to the hospital to check on the wife. He went there and met his absence. When we called him, he said that he was out of town and was sent on an assignment by his senior pastor. So, my mother, myself and my husband decided to go to his senior pastor's place to find out why knowing very well that his junior pastor's wife is seriously sick and is undergoing operation and yet we send him on an assignment. To our surprise, we got there and realized that his senior pastor and his colleague pastors are not even aware of the situation at hand. His senior pastor called him to find out why he told us he sent him. He responded to him that 
he had never told us anything about traveling on any assignment. And as he is talking with him, he is in the house preparing to even go to the hospital. On our way from the senior pastor's place that we met Philip. He asked about my sister and when I told him of our situation, he joined us to the hospital to go and see her. It was at this point that my mother realized the kind of mistake she has caused. And the problem she's putting my sister through. Philip was with us the whole day till it was in the evening that he went home. Promising to come and check on her the next day. The next day in the morning, her husband had still not come so, I asked my younger sister to go to his house and check if he was there, because she was being discharged. I wanted to know so I can take her there right from the hospital. My sister got to the house and met him in the house. But he never allowed my sister entrance into the house itself. She said, she stood at the corridor for almost all the time she talked to him. When he realized that, my sister was not ready to leave the house, he came out and pushed her down the floor, thereby breaking the screen of her phone. She returned and told us about what the husband has done. So, my husband asked that we take her to our house instead. My younger sister, because of what the guy was doing to us, she angrily reported what he did to her to the police, who later went and arrested him for laying his hands on her. But then, the family members and his senior pastor came in and we brought the case home to settle. On the fifth day when she came home, we realized she was not able to walk again. That day, when she woke up in the morning and wanted to get up, she called our younger sister who at this time was almost staying with us to come and help her out because she can't feel her legs. This was when we felt something really serious needed to be done. So, my husband suggested that we go to one man who was very popular in our area when it comes to matters of the spirit. So that he can help us understand the things that are happening to my sister. So, we went there the first day and he asked us to bring my sister. And so, we took her on our second visit. The very moment the man saw my sister, he shook his head, looked at my face and that of my husband. He did his prayers and after about thirty minutes to one hour alone in his room, he came out to where we were and asked us where my sister's husband was. I explained everything to him and he laughed. He told us that, the man that we think he is, he is not that. I didn't understand so, I wanted more explanation. He told us that, even a senior pastor doesn't know the kind of person he truly is. Because, to them, he is a pastor trained by them. But then, my sister's husband belongs to an occult group that demands the blood of unborn babies for their sacrifice. So, the first two miscarriage that my sister had, was actually her husband's doings. And he is aware of whatever will happen to my sister. And that is the reason why he does not want to involve himself with anything with regards to her sickness. Because if he pays for her bills, in the realms of the spirits, he is actually buying the punishment or the sacrifice upon my sister's life. And if it happens so, it will turn to him. He went on to say that the cause of my sister's sickness is because she was to lose the third child also, and for some strange reasons, the time frame in which the sacrifice was to happen changed and it couldn't affect the child. And then as a result the result of the sacrifice that was done in the realm of the spirits is what my sister is facing. So, it is actually the life of my sister for her newborn son. After telling us everything that we needed to know, he told us that, for he to be able to work on her, we must leave her with him at the center. We didn't prepare for that. So, my husband had to go back leaving me alone with her in order to go and get us her things as well as mine. He returned the next day together with my mother, my siblings and then Philip was among them, when they came. Apparently, he called my brother to ask about my sister. And when he was told, they were coming here, he decided to join them. As soon as the man came out and saw Philip, he asked why he didn't marry my sister. Because he sees that he would have been a better husband and protector of my sister. He asked him if he will marry my sister if she gets well. 
Philip told us that, she truly loves my sister but he had already given his promise to someone. And that, he can't break his promise. My mother started crying and begging us to forgive her. The man said something can be done to reverse what the husband has done. But the eyes have been damaged. So, even if he finishes with whatever he was going to do for us, she can only see with just one eyes. The one that was not completely damaged. But for the work, she will surely work again. He told us not to tell the husband anything and just watch what will happen to him in a space of six months. My sister is going through her cleansing and healing process. I am just hoping that she can at least walk again like the man is saying. If you are to see my sister's before and after pictures, you will cry. Like I said, I am sharing with you so that my fellow brothers and sisters out there can learn something from it. I hope my sister's story can make an impact in someone's life. You have a soul within you, follow what your soul communicated to you. And you will make this earth a heaven for yourself. Thank you very much for listening to me. I really appreciate your time. Please kindly subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. Like I always say, these are not just stories for story's sake. They are meant for us not to make these mistakes our brothers and sisters are making. That's why we share these stories with you. Let us please be vigilant of some of these people parading as men of God. I know there are genuine men and women of God out there. But then beloved, let us be mindful of where and who we associate with as our leader and even husbands when it comes to marriage. These pastors are doing some weird things all over the world. And it tells you that, definitely, the end of the world is surely at hand. How can a husband who is a man of God do this to a woman he has married? A woman you made a vow to at the altar that, whatever happens along the way, you will stay by her side. And just a year into your marriage, you have deserted her and the family like that. And to our beautiful mothers out there, sometimes, try to understand your children. And do not impose on them what you want or wish to have that you couldn't. Now see, the person who truly loved this woman was never accepted by the mother. And now look at what is happening to your own daughter. All because, you wanted a pastor for your daughter. I pray that, we learn from some of these stories and live a better life. As I always say, we are not here to race with ourselves. Therefore, do the little you can and ask your Creator to bless your handwork. Please let's be mindful of the choices that we make. Stay blessed and be safe. Thanks for being a part of this growing family. Kindly share your thought with us in the comment section below. And if you are new here, please subscribe, like and share.